Okay, so I got this ask in my inbox the other day and I thought that instead of me showing you how you can target these specific elements, I would instead share with you a tool so that you can kind of figure these things out yourself. Um, this tool I think I mentioned previously in one of my other asks. Um, it's called Developer Tools and it's something that's been incredibly helpful for me in coding in general but especially in Twine because when you're trying to change the Twine template Twine already has some style sheets in place so that if you want to change something you most likely have to override something that's already there and it can be a little bit difficult sometimes to figure out where the styling is and how to override it so this tool was really really helpful for me and I hope that it can be helpful for you as well so I thought it was only right that I share it with you so all you really need is the Google Chrome browser the developer tools comes with it it's already there so it's really really easy to use and if you can just bear with my accent and my voice for a little bit longer then I'm gonna show you on my own screen how you can use developer tools to figure things out in coding it's, it's gonna change your life I promise so please bear with me let's just get into it just make sure that you have the Google Chrome browser that's really all you need so so for the purposes of this video I've just created a brand new twine game and open it up in my Google Chrome browser just to kind of show you how you can use this tool. So if you have some kind of element that you're struggling to apply styles to, all you really have to do is go to the element and right click it and click inspect at the bottom here. This will open up the developer tools in your browser and I'm not completely sure what developer tools will look like when you use it for the first time because I've been using it for years so I might have changed things up I'm not completely sure but the main departments that you would want to look for is the elements tab as well as the styles tab so the elements, as you may have already gathered, contains all the HTML elements of the entire page. So you'll be able to find all the HTML elements that your entire game is built up of inside of here. And as you can see, when you kind of hover over an element, it will be highlighted over here, which is really helpful for trying to figure out what all the elements are. On the page. You can also see for example with this button that we selected and right clicked we can see that it is a button element, we can see that it has an ID of saves export, and we can see that it has a class of UI close. So if we wanted to style this button alone these are probably the IDs and the classes that we would use to target it. But as you can see down here in the styles department where you can see all of the CSS that is currently applied to the elements, we can see that this button, for example, has a background color of blue. And we can see that this button is actually styled by targeting the button element, not an ID, not a class, just a button element, which is why several of these different elements have the same styles applied to them because they're all button elements. So if you wanted to override these styles I would probably look for the parent element which in this case I would probably use the UL element right here which is the unordered list. As you can see on the screen it is this entire box right here so if we wanted to change all those buttons inside of there, I would target this element. And maybe to be super specific, I would also target this element's parent element as well. As you can see down here in this sort of breadcrumb hierarchy 
department, you can kind of see that the button is a child element of this list item element, and this one in turn is the child of this unordered list, which in turn is the child of the div with the ID of UI dialog body, which is this entire box right here. So in order to target this button, I would use these and I would probably put in my code the UI dialog body, the UL with the class of buttons and button to style these particular buttons. So if that doesn't make sense to you, what we're basically saying here is that we want to target all the button, all the button elements inside of this unordered list with the buttons class inside of the div with the ID of UI dialog body. You can also go to someone else's website or someone else's game and peep at their code if you wanted to for example, see how they targeted something or if you wanted to see how I styled a particular button or something, you can go to my button and right click it and click inspect and you can look at my code, both the HTML and the CSS that is applied to all of my elements. So as you can see here, I've targeted my buttons this exact way that I showed you. There are two styles here because currently the dark theme is applied to my game, which is why the background color of the buttons are brown instead of this original green color that belongs to the default theme. So those are some ways of using the developer tools to kind of figure out how to style things, how to override styles. You can also use developer tools to try out changes in your theme if you wanted to, just temporarily. So if I wanted to try out these buttons with a different color, I could just go down here and change it to pink, for example. Change the border to one pick solid red, for example and just try out how this works maybe give it a padding of five pixels or something that didn't work <laughs> but as soon as you kind of refresh this page everything will go back to normal again so it's just a temporary kind of testing out of styles if you want to do so these are just a few ways of using developer tools i can't really show you everything that you can do i don't even know everything that you can do this is just kind of how I use it and how I used it to figure out how to override the styles of the Twine template. So I would recommend kind of playing around in it, trying to get like figure out all the different ways that you can use it yourself. But it's a really, really helpful tool. And I hope that this was able to show you a little bit of how you can utilize it when you're working on your Twine template because it really did help me. And of course, it is really helpful that you can actually go and look at other people's codes and kind of figure out how they achieved things and how they styled certain things in their template. So yeah, I really hope that was helpful and that it wasn't too difficult to follow or too difficult to understand. If you have any questions or any you know, if you found it incomprehensible, I'm very sorry, <laughs> but I hope it was helpful at least a little bit. And uh, lastly, I apologize for my voice. I um, know it's a little grating and my accent gets <laughs> really bad when I'm a little bit nervous. So I hope you were able to sit through it comfortably. But in any case, that's all I wanted to to show you guys. So I hope it helps.